wavy big titties, no waist body, crazy curvy, wavy big titties, no waist body, Hey, what up, guys? TikTok is a very, let's say, interesting place to be on the internet. I'm sure we've all checked it out before. I think it's the most popular app in the world. However, if you're on it for longer than 30 seconds at a time, you'll kind of feel a pit forming in your stomach and you'll maybe start sweating and mentally you'll kind of just start deteriorating and you'll, you'll be able to feel that. A few months ago, we thought it was getting canceled, but apparently it was saved. And what it looks like now is it's here to stay. Now recently, since I'm in this social media space, I uh, went back on TikTok, I went to check it out. And since our phones are legitimately listening to us, the first things that popped up on my For You page were uh, programming TikToks. Apparently there's some kind of audience for coding TikToks. I'm not talking about a few people, I'm talking about millions of people. I know, you might be thinking just like me, how can you do tutorials how can you make coding content these videos are 15 seconds these videos are 60 seconds uh, that's what i want to figure out today last night i uploaded a bunch of my youtube video clips and look at this we're starting to do good already i mean i i have my own tiktok now nick white tiktok and uh look at that 12,000 views on one of them so you know it's a coding one i guess i'm just gonna be uh coding do coding tiktok so i originally found this because uh our boy ben awad popped up on my tiktok uh friend of the channel but look at this 400,000 views 400,000 views so i click on these and i'm like how are these getting seen and i go click on the hashtag look at this there's a bunch of people doing coding content so let's let's watch some of these okay Motors, pulleys, Arduino, shit ton of wires, counterweights, and trigonometry. Slap this bad boy together. I'm kidding. This took me a whole goddamn afternoon to do. But look how freaking sick this is. Look at that. Anyway, uh, get wrecked. That's pretty good. I like that one. Shout out to this kid. That, that was cool. I can't talk right now. I'm doing hot girl shit. Being good, I'm a bad bitch. <laughs> I'm sick of trying to tell me Dude, look at this. I can't talk right now. I'm doing this. This one popped up. This one's pretty funny. I sent this to uh, bitch, you're my soulmate. Our boy Will here. <laughs> Dude, look at that. That's so funny. He's pulling with his coding skills. Never done before. Let's watch one from our boy Ben here. I'll pick. I'll pick one that makes him. The funny thing about the it's tech not gonna industry be, is you can take you know, a software cringe or engineer anything. who's been working like the last five years. They're making over $300,000 a year. They work at a prestigious company. They're fantastic at their job. And if they didn't study beforehand, they would fail the coding interview that Google gives for entry-level positions that college graduates are taking. And that's because they're good at optimizing databases, not inverting binary trees. True. The funny um, you know, I'm going to start doing this shit like who 400,000 just talk to just say software engineer who's been working like just to say a fact, years. basically computer science. What else do we have here? Does anyone know how to abort? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen this. Uh, that's, funny. that's funny. That's funny as shit. Holy shit. No, you see, there's like some good stuff on this here. This is how I got a $200,000 job at Facebook as a software engineer. Ooh. I started off as a confused high school student. I didn't know what to do. I searched up the highest paying majors and I went with computer science. And when I entered university, I failed all my interviews for coding internships, but I wasn't ready to give up. I spent sleepless nights studying and learning how to code so I could pass. Look at this. this. He's putting a lot of effort into this. That's pretty good coding interviews then in my third year i finally landed an internship at google during my internship at google i got free trips to germany seattle california and i enjoyed life but i didn't want to work for google because that pog guys i wasn't cool anymore i interviewed again and got an internship at facebook i coded my butt off to get a return offer in the summer of 2018 and by the end of the summer, all that hard work finally paid off with a $200,000 starting salary job at Facebook. Beast mode, beast mode, beast mode. See, that's a good video. Now I'm sitting at home. The thing is, it's tough. I don't think I could ever do anything like that where it's like, so, you know, I just can't. I tried to do it. I just can't do it. Like, 
the selfie videos and stuff. But no, that's a this is sick, dude. I mean, some of these are good. I've seen a lot of bad ones. I don't want to just like roast people though, so I'm not gonna like show you guys the really bad ones I've seen. But hey, so what's the most popular programming language? Yeah, sure. Yeah, just give me one second. Yo, yo, what the fuck? Hey, see, I I don't know if I could do something like that, dude. But you know, it's good. All right, I'm gonna let Trent look at some of these. Comp sci TikTok. Okay. For starters, I hate TikTok. Okay. Guys, do not buy this keyboard. The W, A, S, and D sound all really good. It's the space bar that's making me get rid of it. Like Guys, do oh, not. Dude, that was so funny. guys there it basically was a picture of me <laughs> just some indian guy with glasses on that is exactly how i look in my cs classes and now i know how that one girl in the class sees me tragic hi i'm the amazon box and this video is part two to why i should be amazon's mascot by working at amazon as a mascot i can get closer to being a computer scientist at amazon i'll be going to arizona state university so this will help me <gasps> amazon arizona state university Oh, hey, I'm not. Dude. I'm not saying I work at Amazon. Whoa, I'm not saying I work at Amazon. I work at Fang, guys. It could be any Fang, but this. I was born for TikTok. Okay, I was. I was doubtful at first, but I was honestly born for. Get internships. TikTok. Share this video. This is a story of one of the most annoying computer viruses in the world. All right, we're about three seconds in, and I'm not watching your TikTok. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I'm gonna have to cut this a little. No, so you don't you... rage on people too hard. <laughs> I'm not reading that. Sorry, buddy. We're on TikTok. We all have ADHD. Why did the fuck do you think we would read that? No, this guy's a douchebag. I'm not watching that. Is this Ty Lopez? My gaming PC. Wait, this is Ty Lopez. An additional two hundred dollars a month. Is it not? Wait, Here's watch. So this <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this is literally. Yeah, it sounds like he's about to say here in my garage. Oh, dude, you have a perfect career for buying Lamborghinis. I don't know what you're doing in coding. You should be reading a book a day. Oh, here's my boy, Ben. Perhaps you get if we dated. What do you think so far? Pretty boring? It seems like these jokes are sort of like carefully crafted towards people that are oh, very no, like, man. like people that will understand the jokes after like three weeks of coding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause that's like what the audience is like. Everyone's like, like they understand Stack Overflow. All noobs cause it's like young. Pro yeah, like. but if you made like a binary search tree like joke, they're gonna be like, what the fuck is that? Yeah, yeah, So you have to stick to the basics. Stack Overflow, um, hello world. Uh, how to center a div, always, always a classic. When a programmer gets stuck while coding. True. I mean, this is true. You see, me and you see, that is, I mean, come on, that is pretty much just, how many views does that have, you know? Because if you want to, 19.5 thousand likes, it's going to be a lot of views. Crazy, isn't it? Like, that's, dude basically said, hey, if you're stuck, go for a walk for a minute and then come back and then you're good to go. It's like, hey, dude, yeah, duh. Motherfucking duh. Permissions. Run the who am I command. The who am I command? Yeah, it tells you what user you are. Who am I? Oh, this is kind of funny. I like this one. I mean, you see how much effort he's putting into that? That's for a 60 second video. So, I don't know how much TikTok, like, changes your life if you're, like, popular on tiktok maybe it is like good or something i don't know anything i am so old even though i'm not even that old i don't get it i don't understand this platform but i'm on it so freaking follow me go and follow follow my tiktok dude what am i should i be on this thing oh god dude i don't i'm having a midlife crisis quarter life crisis give me another keyboard and then what they're looking on stack overflow
Let's see how they like when I SQL inject my polymorphic ransomware. I'm in. Oh my god, they're on Stack Overflow, dude. I gotta do a Stack Overflow video. Like, are you kidding me, dude? Every that's true. Tr my roommate Trent, he made a video on this too. Like, every single meme is like it ends with someone being on Stack Overflow. This is what you think it is, but actually, I'm on Stack Overflow. Tell me this isn't on Stack Overflow. No, don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. No, no. Why? Why did he have to do it? Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. And I'll freaking. What? Dude, you guys, do you, if you think that what I'm doing is hard programming, think again. I'm on Stack Overflow. Think again. You'll see me, you'll see me, but you won't see me hacking the, you won't see me doing anything but looking up how to invert freaking tree on Stack Overflow. All right, that's it, whatever, dude, I'm done, peace.